Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to part two. Yes, eyes are to the side to see myself on the camera with my very, well, amateur filming. So let's begin with, uh, well, I said bookcases last time, but really, we're going to cover, as titled, some special editions and not in the bookcase. And my special edition bookcase. So let's begin. For the top we have... We have Speed Racer with the head that everyone's afraid of, but I think is amazing. And above that, the Seinfeld Season 5 and 6 with the poofy shirt, given to by a friend and just, well, stays up there. The Plasma Ball that I won at uh, Coin Pusher. And here we have is Himoto Umaru-chan Season 1 DVD, Blu-ray, and Squishy. And the big hamster Garfield herself. Call this the Garfield box. <laughs> Then we have the Hexel box of dot hex sign. And for and just to get this out of the way, how does it open? To reveal the game and memory card and all the singles. For all the single ladies. So close this up and give you a better idea as to what the Hexel box looks like. Top. There we go. Yeah, I need to learn the dust. I am not Giga Frosty, I tell you. I am not! And let's see what the underside is. After that, we have a disco light ball, and also one from the coin pusher, and Monster Musume. Ha ha ha! So let's set this down, put this up, and go over here to the first shelf, which we have another copy of Excel Saga. This is the one that I bought. Put the get the strip back on my original. Why? Because of ego. Then this used to be a braggable item. As I put this to the side, we have Scry. Fortunately, and yeah, let me give it a good dusting here. Ah, the limited edition box. Used to, this was recollectible. But over time, as I paid uh, $12, people either didn't get interested or they had a hard time selling. As I said, fortunately, Discotech is working on the release of this. Hopefully they will get the movie so it'll finally be fully complete. Now I'll put Scride back. Well, what's this big book right here? Why, this is Snow Miku 2014, the Deluxe Edition. This is some pretty hefty reading, I tell you. And a pretty magical story of, of a Snow Witch figure, Deluxe Virgin. I'll show the standard in a little bit. So, I'm not much for figures, as I move this, everything around. But why am I showing this? Or why did I get it? Quite easily. I like the sleek style of the casing and, well, the character. All right, so that takes care of that. Now let's do the warning this time. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful warning. And now I move to what in the world has been over here this whole time. Well, quite simple. I have the AX pillow for when I went to AX back in 2018. The AX shirt for that time. The Konosuba throw. The other Konosuba throw. Last Konosuba throw. Probably can't show it. I don't know yet. The preview edition of New Type Magazine. And a signed record of the Tom Green show from Tom Green himself. Happy travels, buddy. Let's magically put everything back. Well, before I put everything back, let me show you the AWA tote bag that I got because I bought a lot of stuff there. Ah, and it's the same thing twice. Now I'm going to put it in like rice. Alright, that's all packed up and ready to go. Now, moving slow to, well, the next shelf, which we have Garfield, as I showed before. Oop, there you go. And more stuff. If you're familiar with the recent video that I posted, uh, you have the Violent Everguard LE. I have fully exposed that there. We have promotional cards for... Kamigane Battles, which is right over there. We got Zegapane. Yes, Zegapane. The show that really needs a re-release. I don't know why it doesn't have it. It's very similar to Razaphon. Haha, I opened it to show all the volumes, so it is complete. Alright, let's take this to the side here. We have all of my Hime. My Hime, my Zime, my Zime, Ziwi. My Zewe's for my Otome O. I want to say shift is how it's official. It's called. But over here we have the Mori Ibo. Well, I guess it, this wants to come out first, and that is the Tanto Cure Playmat. <laughs> I love that game. Now to show 
the Mori Ebo box set with all of its slick skinnies that I'm afraid I'm gonna break if I touch. What a reason to collect. Over here we have the Magical Dore Me toy set with the Episode 1 DVD that I want to leave as NRFB even though it's smashed pretty good in some places. What's this? A signed picture of Rufio. Who's Justin? Kamigami Battles. I just like this game. I wish I had people to play it with. The Blatant Sakura from, well, Card Captors. I don't really collect films that often. I didn't pay 60, by the way. Ooh, unofficial Dragon Balls! Dragon Arise! <laughs> Two plug and play Nintendo systems. <laughs> then we have Alice Matic, another Japanime Games game. And this back here was the last schedule for Hamacon. That it was a convention that I was the viewing room director at the end of it. The main people who run it eh, just decided to stop. So we voted to stop. And now I will do some magic. <gasps> and magically delicious, everything's back in order. Now we go down to I didn't pay $400 for Kimigori Orange Road. <laughs> so let's unequip this relic. And look what's down here. More of that schedule. Flies away, swoosh! So we have our cereal box of Gundam Seed. Zeta Gundam. Love Zeta Gundam. Oh my god, a few manga and the Loud House. Yes, I'm a big fan of the Loud House. So we have some Dragon Maid. Then, uh, well, complete Loud House on DVD so far. Some of the Scholastic books and the comic. But wait! There's also the free comic. <laughs> if you like something, you like it. Here's what other people say. And as you can see here, this is a better look of all the Loud House that I have. If this is the modern day Peanuts, then I should enjoy. And now I will restore this shelf. Voila, we completed everything here, but put the poster down because we have some more right down here. Yes, another Kamigai Battles, River of Souls. We have a PlayStation plug-in, which is a PAL emulator. Oh, got Turtles, Ninja Turtles, original Ninja Turtles. Flash Gordon, he's here to save the universe with a Queen song. <laughs> and rock and roll. If you don't like rock and roll, you suck. But we have rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, let's take out the turtle van. Are you turtly enough for the turtle van? I remember paying like $80, which that's a lot, but I believe it's a higher value for some sick reason. Yeah. Over three hours of bonus features, haha. <laughs> oh. So what's the rest of this stuff? This mic is a Yeti. I use this mic for my podcast, talking to other people. And if you'd like, please let me know if you would like to do a video with me. I would not mind whatsoever or be invited to a podcast. I am in one called the Open Chest Anime Podcast, but uh Scheduling has been throwing me off. I don't mind doing it, it's just schedules are just off. And here we go, the Snow Miku from 2014 Original Edition. Which has just your base set of Book Bunny, Girl, and Platform. Ah uh, yes, the Blockbuster Party Game, which is a trivia game. And of course, the Genesis plugin. You know what? I might add another plug and play here. Hold on a sec. Whoa, uh, what's this? A Neo Geo plug and play with a controller that you have to buy separately, by the way. With that comes in white. And uh you can't really see. You can vaguely see, but it comes in black as well. You have to buy a special this is a pain. You have to buy its special HDMI cord, which is a certain size. You can, it's like mini to big HDMI. This is USB, so you have to find an outlet that is USB for itself. It looks like this. So technically, you can play on here, but for home experience, it's good to grab these. There are multiple variants, and these are the games that come inside. I'm showing this off more than the others because the others are predefined. This one has many special editions. Not a lot of people know about it, or to my knowledge. And now I'll play Magical Cleanup. Aha! It's cleaned up. Now I can finally put this back on there. Whoa, it's like 
the MG line, but way less budget. And we move down to here where I'm going to put a future live action series, but I'm not going to reveal just yet. And yes, it is the one you're thinking about if you've seen me in different podcasts, talks with people, and I don't know if I've hinted at here or not. So, yeah, why not? Let's look what's in this bag. Got this when I got to AX as well. As you can see, it's about the same on both sides. So, what's in here? Well, we have Mangaka, the apples to apples or channel A, but you draw. Ooh, what other goodies we got? We have Shinobi, haha. Wow. There you go. Shinobi. We also have Kimo Mimi Panic, a game of deduction. Ooh, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, yes. You can play this on Steam. Heart of the Crown. Beautiful, beautiful art. Yeah, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, yeah. Tonto Cure Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah. Pretzels, yeah. Then we have a game of nursing. Dynamite Nurse, baby. A deck building game. Tonto Cure is also a deck building game. That is also a different type of deck building game. Ah, uh, deck builders. And I don't mind. Ooh, what else we got? What else we got? Damn Maku Lunatic Extra. Followed by the Maku, the base game. And yes, this is a Toho card game. Bag empty, so let's me use my time warping magic to play cleanup. Okay, right back. So I, I got all this when I went to AX in 2018. Uh, yeah, I do like Japan anime games. And slide this back over. So now, let's begin with the more, more of what you're waiting for. Let's see some anime. Alright, you want anime? Here's some anime. Here are some repeats that are addition that are a different edition, as well as those that I filmed but did not put back in the bookcases. So let's glide through. Oh yeah, baby. Got these two prior. They upgraded this with a dub, so uh, with that. There's some issues between these two, but uh, watch one of my pickups and you'll find out more. These were selling ridiculous at the time, so I gathered a couple of copies for myself and some more for trade fodder in case the times come, but I guess it's worth as a penny now since you can buy the Blu-ray for $10 last sale. This is a really good series. If you ever get a chance, watch Babel the Second. You won't know that unless you watch it, but if you've seen Giant Robo, you owe yourself to watch this series. I really need to do a completion. I really need to do a complete collection of this show. Just go! I need to complete a technical error for uh, this one, because this one had the graph, not that one. And with that, let's move on to the next section. Now here we are at specific showcases. This one being Project Deco 2 through 3 on DVD. Can't wait for that Blu-ray, and can't that I would love to see. Up next, we have a title that you just can't resist, just by name to own it. And that is Shoto Khan Man. One small town, too many badasses. Oh, I bet it is. Now what perplexed me is this right here. The sleepy town of Westabuga, Alabama is turned on its head. It's when Dirk, a mysterious Japanese man carrying a dingerloo, I believe that's the Australian instrument you hear in westerns, but anyway, the whole Westabuga. There is no Westabuga. There's Eastabuga, but not Westabuga. So with that, if you're a true hardcore Dragon Ball Z fan, you should know what these are. And if you're not, you should instantly know that these are European, which means that these are the big green dub movies. I only have two out of the supposed nine, but there they are. I'm still on the hunt, and I'm not sure how in the world this one guy got all of them, but I hope to get the rest of them one day. Crikey, it's a 009-1 Special Edition steel case. A little bit of rust. Well, 
Actually, the varnish is coming off. It's not rust. So we have... Well, you're going to see that on the other side, and that's the back. Whoa, oh, wait. No, you don't. You see all this stuff. Yeah, AD Vision. Or ADV Films. Ugh. Open it up to see all the volumes. One, two, and three. So, push this in and clamp it up. Yeah. Mission success. Cutie honey, so show me. A metal lunchbox today. Yeah, Bandai Entertainment. Yeah, look at that out of 5,004. What's inside this badass? Beautiful. Oh, cryptic crap. Got the sealed movie. Does not contain Re, sadly, which was the animation to promote the movie. Cutie Honey Keychain. No. That is it. So, Cutie Honey, show me the way. Just to show some different variants of uh, anime paper pen RPGs, if you will. These two made in America. This one made in Japan and inspired by Ghibli films of travel. Next. All right, got this back in elementary school at the Scholastic Book Fair. This, the first printing of this, was my very first manga. This is sadly is the second printing, but it's still just as good as I remembered. In the same dimensions as well. Next, this is the first box game I ever got as a present, so glad to see it's still alive and well. Okay, you want to talk about manga? Let me tell you something. If you don't have these, or at least have read these at all, you are not a manga fan. This is something that everyone should read. This is just flat out funny. If you get a chance to read them, I highly recommend it. I have Nobody's Boy Remy in Spanish. It's time to look at the skinnies. Each of these are bootlegs from East West and Digiview Entertainment. Let's explain the top row. These up here are the best of the best they have to offer. This right here is also good. That is right here, the world of Hans Christian Andersen. It's god-awful except for five minutes when it finally tells the story of the little match girl. This guy will never shut up. He's overpraised. She just likes him. It's French. I don't know. I've not seen it. Criterion released it. These, one more time, are good. It is based on the second Majinger series, and they're re-edited for an American audience. It's cheesy, it's gaffy, it's gabby, but it's also amazing. And this is where the shit rolls right here. Each of these Korean knockoffs only were made because Japan would not trade the anime. Each of these are different rarities because they were dollar DVD purchases. And some are unknown if they exist, but they do. Not sure about Silver Twilight, by the way. And these are the skinnies. 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 Actually, correction. Up here are anime. This is just a French production. Another point to point out is this one right here. This is the first colored anime movie, if not the first colored anime movie to air in a U.S. theater. So with that, remember, there's a card game called Schoolgirls Love Tentacles. <laughs> so, the show in this part of the specials and etc. is the black box. Must open black box. The black triangle to show. The legend most profound. The legend of the galactic heroes. Wang and Julian versus Reihart and their epic quest of sci fi adventure. And I got 082 for the serial. Yes, this beautiful, beautiful countertop item is kept in a box. Why? I don't want it to get damaged. And two, I don't want to dust it. And we will end with My Life as a Teenage Robot Season 1, 2, 3 and also the Sketchbook 2nd Edition. And I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty snazzy uh, art book here. Kind of show you a bit of the art scene and its very gloriousness even have a few scenes that weren't even shown like Brad in a cowboy hat and costume. 
Oh boy. This various whimsiest world of my life as a teenage robot. There you go. Cowboy it up and pimp it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Huh, kind of looks familiar here. Huh, looks like baloney. Even some shots from the movie. Or, well, I guess this is the Christmas special. With that, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and for part three, we will go to Welcome to VHS Land. See you then.